So how do you get a girl to go from being kind of into you to being completely obsessed with you? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Hi, I'm Bobby Rio, and one of the things that I'm always dealing with with clients is guys who meet a girl, and even though things are going sort of, sort of okay, right? They get along, um, they don't really argue, they, there's a, a physical attraction there, she's into them, um, but they get kind of stuck on that plateau where they never feel like she gets to that next level where she's chasing them, where she's just, you know, you, you can just tell when a girl's really into you versus where you kind of get the impression she's settling for you. So how do you move her from that place, that place where she's sort of into you to that place where she's really into you? Well, it all comes down to this. How do you make her think about you nonstop? Because as Rob, Judge, and I say, one of the core components that we talk about when we teach our entire scrambler method is that it all starts with this idea that a woman needs to be thinking about you when you're not around, right? The more time she spends thinking about you, the more she slowly falls in love with you. The thing is that most nice guys, most you know, guys in general, they fail to realize this. They fail to realize that a lot of the things that you're doing actually cause her to think less about you, right? Um, and you gotta be conscious of this because I talk about in one of my other videos um, where I talk about this idea of abundance. And when you have abundance, a lot of times you do this naturally. And this is why women tend to chase guys who other women are with, right? Because these guys do a lot of the stuff we're gonna talk about naturally, which gets her thinking about them. But if you're not in that position right now where you have a ton of women that, that you're you know, juggling and, and you do these things naturally, you gotta be conscious of them. Because if you're not, you're gonna find that a woman who was kind of into you will lose interest. So let's kind of go through some of the things you wanna keep in mind. Um, number one is you can't come off as a sure thing, right? So I'm just gonna write down no sure thing. And what do I mean by that is, when you're hanging out with a woman and it's going well, right? And you both sense it's going well. And then she goes home if she's completely sure that everything went well, that you're totally into her, there's not really much for her to anticipate. There's really not much for her to worry about. So you never want to present yourself so much that she has you, okay? And I'll give you a, a very small example of something that I actually did. And I, I didn't really do it purposefully, but um, my, my girlfriend, after we had started dating for a while, she, she told me that this drove her crazy. And I realized, oh, wow, that... That I can see what she meant. So I want to explain it. So at the end of a date with her, right, I would say, I had a good time, you know, we'd do whatever, and I'd go, Yeah, I'll talk to you soon, right? I'd say, I see you soon or talk to you soon. And it, when she explained to me, she goes, You know, most guys at the end of the date are going, trying to plan the next date, or they're saying, When can I see you again? She goes, You would just say, See you soon. And I would always be like, well, What did that mean? right? Does that mean he didn't have fun? Does that mean I'm not going to see him again? What, what does that mean? What does see you soon mean? And the idea is, is when she doesn't know what that means, it makes her think about you nonstop, right? Because you're no longer a sure thing. Um, nice guys though, unfortunately, they come across as a sure thing because they want to immediately go, hey, I have a wedding in three months from now. I'd like you to go with me. And now she's going, he's already thinking three months in the future. So anything you can do to avoid being a sure thing is uh, definitely gonna help you. All right, so let's talk about the next element. The next element of making a woman think about you nonstop is being less predictable. And this is something that Rob and I really um, drill in the scrambler because there's a lot of ways to be less predictable. Most guys think of the obvious ones, right? When you think less, be less predictable, the average guy is gonna go, oh, let me take longer to respond to her text. And that's an example, right? So what I mean by that is I was, I was working with a client recently and he said that 
uh, every night he was starting in, in kind of the beginning phase of dating this girl. And he said, every night we'd have this good night text, like, good night, good night. Uh, hope your day went well. And that becomes predictable, right? And predictable gives her nothing to think about, right? Uh, so I said, well, uh, the simplest thing you can do in that situation is occasionally not send that good night text because now she's going to wonder why that good night text didn't come. So you want to constantly be thinking, what are the expectations that she has and how can I occasionally, not all the time, how can I occasionally break those expectations? Because when you break an expectation, all of the sudden you open up a moment of, of, of uncertainty, of confusion, and that's when a woman is thinking about you, right? If she gets that good night text from you, she can now go to bed and her mind can drift off to you know whatever else is, is on her mind that night. But if, if that text didn't come, all of a sudden she's like, what, where is he tonight? Who's he with? And you know how we are, because we're the same way. Our, our imagination starts going wild. Next thing you know, she's like on Facebook, checking to see if you checked in anywhere. And that is slowly convincing herself, I must really like this guy if I'm giving him this much attention. So the next um, way that you can make her think about you is becoming three-dimensional, okay? And again, this is something that we really, I mean, the entire... Um, beginning of the scrambler uh, in phase one, it's about this, right? It's about this idea of three-dimensionalizing yourself because what happens is when a woman meets you, um, she kind of gathers who, who, you, who she thinks you are, okay? Maybe you're you know, a, a software engineer and you have this group of friends and, and she kind of puts all these pieces together and then she kind of pigeonholes you, right? He's the nice software engineer. He hangs out with these people. And she kind of has this, this vision of who you are as a person. And when that vision is confirmed over and over again, it kind of, I don't want to say loses its luster, but, but it, it, it kinda, she kind of begins to take it for granted. So occasionally what we have our students do is you figure out how can I introduce something that takes me from being a one-dimensional cardboard type of guy into a multi-dimensional guy. So I was working with a client recently and uh, he's very spiritual, right? He's, he's a very spiritual guy and all, and he tends to talk a lot about that. And I said, well, that's great, but a woman's gonna pigeonhole you that way as the spiritual guy, right? Um, so you wanna occasionally add a contradiction into it, right? What is a contradiction? Um, maybe you also tend to be ruthless with business, right? Because now there's this, now you're no longer this, this one dimensional person. And, and if you think about it, um, the most compelling characters uh, are, 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 are ones with multiple dimensions, right? The anti-hero. If you look at um, you know, a, a Star Wars, for instance, right? That's something everybody will know. Uh, the character that most people really like, if you ask anybody who is your favorite character, most people are going to say Han Solo. Han Solo was a three-dimensional character where Luke Skywalker was pretty one-dimensional, right? He was the, the vanilla good guy, like no real personality where... Han Solo was a little bit good, a little bit bad, which made you more invested in him, right? And that's what a lot of guys need to do to their personality. That's one of the things that we really focus on in phase one of the Scrambler is getting you to three-dimensionalize yourself. You want to be aware of that. You want to go, how can somebody be pigeonhole me and how can I break that? How can I break that pigeonhole? So number four is less nice guy behavior okay and i rail against nice guy behavior um constantly but what happens is um nice guys are very predictable and they're very agreeable and they're not into confrontation right and what's interesting is that drama is something women feed on right we all say women love drama and in most cases women do to some degree love drama and the more of a nice guy you are, the less drama that you're giving her. And if a woman doesn't have any drama surrounding you, she does not think about you. She needs that drama to keep her mind thinking about you. So sometimes that drama happens naturally, right? Like I, I mentioned earlier in uh, how in, in my video on abundance, um, some guys naturally create drama because they're either they're, they're 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 not you know maybe maybe some guys are just they don't have a lot 
how do I say this in a nice way? They're, they're, they don't have their shit together, some guys. So they're naturally creating drama, right? They're canceling plans on her. They're just kind of fucking up. But that drama actually, even though she might complain about it, it's actually feeding into her thinking about that guy more. Other guys, um, nice guys tend to usually have their shit together in most cases, not all cases. Um, they, they tend to be very grounded. But what happens when you're very grounded and you have your shit together and you're just a generally a good person, you're not introducing that drama that a woman craves. So you want to be really conscious to go, am I, is there any drama here? Because if there's not any drama at all, you may, as a guy, we love that, right? I hate drama in my relationships. To me, like calm, content relationship is the best. But for a woman, if things are too calm and content, she's going to, in her mind, go, this lacks passion. So you want to go, how can I introduce a little bit of drama by being a little bit less of a nice guy? That's uh, something that we, we start going into in the second and, and, and fourth phase of the scrambler quite a bit. Um, and the uh, number five is this idea of mystery, okay? The more mystery there is, the more she's going to think about you. Uh, there's a classic, um, we talk about this, I think, in, in one, of, one of my other videos on, uh, on my channel. And this idea that, let, if you use an example here, right, of if a woman's on your Facebook page and she sees one of these three posts, okay? One post is you with your arm around a girl. Another post is you out with a bunch of your friends. And then another post is a beer and a martini glass with the caption, um, uh, cheers to a good night with good company. Which one of those is going to make her think the most about you? Which one? Number three, the beer and the martini glass, because it is mysterious. It's vague. She's wondering who is he with, right? Cause she doesn't know. Is it a I doubt it would be a guy drinking an apple martini, right? You know, it's a beer and an apple martini. She's going, it's probably a girl, but who is this girl? Why didn't he post a picture of her? What, like, now her mind is going crazy because now there's a mystery. And mystery makes you think about somebody nonstop. And mystery is really what the, the, the scrambler is built upon. Um, it's, it's built upon, it's, it's really built upon all of these things, right? How to... Because what happens is a lot of guys, when, when we really like a girl, um, we're very, very uh, skeptical to do these things, right? Because we're like, oh, I don't, I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I, I want to be a sure thing. I want to let her know I like her. I, I don't want to be unpredictable because if I don't text her back. She might think I don't like her. And then she might text the other guy that she's talking to on Tinder. And we don't do any of this stuff. Um, the scrambler is almost like a roadmap. It almost, it, it, it gives you guidance on how to do it the right way. Because you don't want to overdo it either, right? If you're too much of, um, you know, too much of a mystery and you're, you're, you're total jerk and, and you're, you're just kind of crazy and, 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 and like, like irrationally unpredictable and, and she has no hope that you're ever going to be her boyfriend, she will also pull away from you, right? She won. It's a balance. And that's what the scrambler really is about. It's about keeping that balance, right? So to make a woman think about you nonstop, um, you don't want to be a short thing, right? You want to do things that leave doubt. Um, you want to be less predictable. You want to consciously be looking for ways that you can break uh, her expectations. If she's expecting something, occasionally you need to break that expectation. Um, you got to learn to three-dimensionalize yourself. Like I said, you don't want her to pigeonhole you as, oh, he's that type of guy. Um, the more you, you want to be the character in a movie that has a, a lot of different parts to them because then you don't really know about them, right? You don't, you, you don't really know, are they a good guy or are they a bad guy? What, you know, you, you want that mystery there for her. Um, being less of a nice guy and, and, and overall just elements of mystery, right? When you introduce mystery, it will make her think about you nonstop. So um, if you want sort of a, a PhD on this, right? Where we just really, um, for, for, for a two day seminar, we break down each of the phases and we give you exactly what you need to do. Um, I, I suggest uh, uh, checking out the Scrambler seminar if you haven't already. Like I said, it's about 12 hours long because we go through each phase with example after example of how to do this. Because like I said, most guys think of the surface level stuff, right? Well, I, I won't text her back right away. Well, that's surface level. That's, that's so we, Rob and I call that, 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 that's like kids play, right? That's, that, that's, not, that's not like the real 
meat of it, right? That's like surface level. You want to get levels and levels deeper. That's where the real benefit comes. So you can click the link below to check it out. Leave us a comment and also hit subscribe if you like this video so that you don't miss the next one.